So welcome back into the Rocket Show, uh, Rocket fans. We just got home from Paris Air Show, and this is actually gonna be the part I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, because that was quite an amazing trip. Um, first of all, Copenhagen Suborbitals didn't think of going to Paris Air Show. It's like the world's biggest aerospace show in the world, and we couldn't possibly go there. Nobody would be interested. We couldn't afford it, and so on and so on. So, we were lucky. We got an invitation. A subsection of Paris Air Show called Paris Air Lab. It's mainly for new technology startups. And they just thought, CS is something special. Let's try and then show off that space can also be something that's not just the major established companies. So, we packed up three important things plus some minor stuff. We brought the Next 2 rocket, we brought good old faithful Betty, and then we brought the, uh, the cut open engine from, uh, from Heat 2X. And we had, we got everything set up down there, everything looked good. Friday before, uh, we, we exhibited Friday, Saturday, son, uh, Sunday. And from the morning, it started slow for about 10 minutes. Then people started pouring in. And especially Saturday was crazy. I don't think I've ever seen so many people in, in a CS exhibit anywhere where we've ever been ever before. And the best part of it was that people were enthusiastic, amazed and astonished that something like CS even existed. And the best part of it was mainly their um, the facial expression when they, when they finally understood what amateurs mean in this case. I mean, a volunteer-based non-profit organization, basically a spare time hobby. And then they, again, they, you saw often that their, their eyes flickered and they looked over to next year too and looked back again. It's like, what, you, you do this in your spare time? And then it usually went to big fat smiles. So it was also uh, a strenuous uh, thing because we were four guys down there flat out working basically talking to friendly people 10 hours a day. So on top of that, it was like really hot as well. So amazing setup. I mean, just being in a large hangar where they just casually parked two Concords nose against each other. So the frame was fantastic and we had a wonderful trip down there and talking to so many amazing people. Some of us who knew us from uh, astronomy geeks work in, in, in France. So, an amazing part of a week, and um, it's been well worthwhile. We talked to so many interesting um, um, people and, and, and curious people coming through our test or our stand. So, this, this is going to be an, this is already an unforgettable um, experience. And, I think we gotta try something like this again in about two years. So, after this amazing experience, of course, there is a large uh, shout out to, to Paris Air Lab. Thank you very much for inviting us and giving us the opportunity to exhibit at Paris Air Show. And secondly, to all of those uh, mainly French fans and supporters and followers that came by and then basically just, hey, uh, often with a good French accent on their English, I'm one of your followers, I'm one of your supporters, I followed you since 2011 maybe, and, and, get, and getting a chance to talk to all of these people and just expressing our gratitude that you give us the opportunity to do these amazing things with you. So thanks again.